morning you guys it is 5 44 and i am up i'm dressed i want to do a spin class today i really wanted to do one the other day and um my feet were just killing me and i wasn't able to do it, it was annoying but we shall try today i left my hair tie in the bedroom i've been taking my hair so at the end of the day like i just want to lay in bed watch a movie put my hair up you know that kind of thing so i've been allowing myself to put my hair up then and then before i go to sleep i take it out whereas normally i would sleep with it in so i'm feeling very proud of myself lately hopefully it helps um anywho i am going to make my breakfast i'm wearing the cutest shirt today my leggings are just adorable so i'm gonna make some breakfast and see about getting this day going i am just doing my morning cleaning routine which includes like make the bed unload the dishwasher trying to organize the kitchen because i have like all this stuff that i need so like i have a box of instant um cream of wheat but also a box of oatmeal chips, shot glass um but i'm not actually eating those things this week so it just sits there because i don't have room in my cabinet so i'm trying to figure out what i'm doing with all this but i just want to tell you guys i'm not sure if yesterday i told you about my um orthopedic shoes if I didn't I should have but I had to get them because my plantar fascia and it's like so bad it's insane but um, it's called plantar fasciitis I was referring to one foot fascia because it's predominantly in my right foot it used to be in my left and now it's in my right anyways I got these shoes that were way overpriced <laughs> at least that's what I thought I got them on sale on Amazon and I'm obsessed. I love them. I highly recommend them. I'm going to link them down below because I just wanted to share that. If you guys are suffering, don't be like me. I was like, I'm not paying that. It's ridiculous. Don't suffer. Just get the shoes. I promise they are worth it. And my mom, what actually convinced me to get them was my mom was like, please just get them. You can always return them after, you know, you wear them for a few days if they don't work for you. And I was like, that's true because Amazon does have that, that I can return them. So then I was like, I'm just going to try it. And girl, let me tell you, I'm glad I did. You guys, I just got some new pellets in the mail for their peat pellets for starting my seeds. So... We are starting some winter seeds today. Let's find a spot. This ground is all wet because it's been raining off and on. I don't know. Oh, I suppose that shall do. These ones are cooked from being in the sun. I don't think my big ones will fit in those holes, so we're just gonna use this bottom part, which is technically the top. And then also, I have to tell you guys the funniest story about what my neighbor just said. Okay, we're gonna have a little story time. My neighbor 100% knows that I do YouTube and all of that stuff. And she texts me and she's asking about, she's older. She's asking about somebody else in the building, you know, what they put on Facebook. And she was like, why would they share that on Facebook? And I'm like, because, you know, it's part of her business and blah, blah, blah. And she's like, what does her business have to do with this? And I'm like, you know, connects people to her, all of this stuff. And she goes, people will share anything on Facebook. And I was like, yeah. And she's like, it just reeks of desperation and loneliness. It's sad. And I was like, hi, I'm still here. <laughs> I just thought that was so funny. I couldn't believe it. I was like, that was awkward. That was a tad weird. Okay, we're gonna put water on these. Actually, I feel like, actually I don't know how big they're gonna get, so I think this is enough. I'm gonna get some water. I think I'm gonna be harvesting my um, sweet potatoes soon because they're starting to turn yellow at the bottom. And I was thinking maybe they're getting too much water, but the other ones are getting the same amount of water and they're not turning yellow. Why are these things popping up? Anyways, um, and I was doing some research and it says when it turns yellow and the leaves die down, 
that's how you know it's time to harvest. So that's exciting. I just got a text saying I have a package at security. Oh, they're starting to blow up. I'm so excited. Oh, got another text. I'm gonna go get this, I'll be right back. You guys stay here, watch these. Make sure they blow up enough. Oh my gosh, I think we need more water. They absorbed it all. Okie dokie, let's figure out what seeds we're gonna do. I definitely wanna try the Table Queen. It is a squash. It's purple on the outside, yellow on the inside. I don't know if I can do tomatoes or cucumbers or bell peppers. I think it might be too cold. Beets, I wanna try that again. We're gonna do this mustard Japanese giant red. No watermelons. Ooh, blue Hubbard squash. The Lakota squash I'm very excited for. We have some rutabaga, some uh, lettuce, and some Kentucky wonder beans. I wish I would have got snow peas. I don't know what I was thinking because those would have been amazing. Where is the hole? I think that's the bottom. Okay, so that's the top. These are actually a lot different than I thought they were gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like the kind of netting that comes in the burpee ones. And this is more like paper towel-y. Hope you guys don't mind doing some gardening today, but I just, it's such a nice day and I feel like I need to get outside. Plus, I'm really wanting to just rip out those plants because I don't think they're gonna produce anything else. They've been in since July. And honestly, it was too hot when I planted them. I should have planted them in like February if I was gonna do tomatoes and stuff. I also need to go on Amazon and see about getting a bird net so that we can keep the birds out. But the problem is I don't want them to get stuck in the net. So I need to figure how I'm gonna fix that. Although, to be fair, we come out here four times a day minimum because of Louie. I have to walk right past that area to take him to the bathroom. So we could probably, if a bird did get stuck, it wouldn't die. We could just get it out. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have any gardening tips for keeping birds out and just gardening tips in general because we're just kind of rolling with it. So far, the only thing that I think is going to be successful is um, my sweet potatoes. That's actually what got us on this kick in the first place was the sweet potatoes, which is so funny. Oh, <laughs> I've been doing this wrong, my bad. I see what they want us to do. Pull out the hole that's stamped on there. That makes more sense. I was opening the bottom. Awkward. These are really nice and big. My mom has a thing, it's, a, it's called a soil blocker, and it actually makes little soil blocks, kind of like this, but without having to use the paper or the netting. And it just all gets wrapped in like compacted tightly into this box and then she like sque she squeezes it out like that and it comes out the bottom and it's like perfect little potting bricks to put pot in she got it off of amazon i'll leave a link if any of you are gardeners and you're looking for something like that but yeah she's obsessed with it she got one that does like the mini ones like two inch ones like this size and then she got one that does like bigger and then a four inch one. Yeah, there's a lot of gardening tools. It's funny cause she's so into gardening and this would be the perfect space for her to be in as far as weather goes, but she would never, she's not an urban dweller. Okay, I'm gonna dump out this water. Oh girl, 
Why did we do it on here? My plan was to dump it in a pot, but I don't know if I'm gonna make it that far. Let's dump it into the pot down below. Dawn would have killed me if I put it straight onto the lanai, so I had the little black thing there to catch it in. All right, let's get to potting. We're gonna do rows of three. Oh, we might get more than rows of three. These ones are beets, which is why I'm doing so many, because I won't plant this whole thing. I will do what's called threading and remove them one by one to plant. Oh my gosh, these are giant. Oh my gosh, these rutabaga seeds are the smallest thing I've ever seen in my life. I love it. Oh my gosh, these seeds are massive. That's crazy. I like to do three per thing. And then the last one is going to be the blue hover. I think I actually might end up doing more things of these because we like them. I'm doing the golden beads, by the way. These are massive, too. Look how big that seed is. Crazy, crazy, crazy. My mom got like 50 or 100 pounds of blue hover squash. Oof, this one is wet. We're gonna push them down in, close them over. I am just in my bedroom hooking up a new phone charger, an iPad charger. Basically, the phone charger that came with my phone is the cord is three feet long and that's just not long enough. Cause like when you're in bed trying to be on your phone when you know you shouldn't be, you wanna be cozy, you can't be cozy with a three foot cord. <laughs> oh, Louie's coming up. So, uh, I found on Amazon 10 foot long charging cords, which I'm so happy about. So those came today. They come in a pack of five for like $15. So they would make amazing stocking stuffers. Go ahead, Bubby. So I put that in. I got a double um, USB port charger and I was able to do USB to USB-C for my iPad and USB to lightning for my phone. And now I've got two 10 foot cords and I'm so happy about this, you guys. You have no idea. <sighs> now I just have to figure out how I'm gonna organize that cord because it's a little bit long. <laughs> and so I'm gonna have to like stuff it in between the bed and the nightstand. But I'm just like five bucks or five bucks, 15, 15 bucks for five chargers. Like I will take it. Sign me up. Alrighty, does everybody know what time it is? Tool time with Tim, the tool man Taylor. No, that is actually from the TV show Home Improvement. I used to be obsessed with that show. Well, actually my dad was obsessed with that show. And so 
by default all of his children were and still are so we're doing our advent calendar this is the glossy box one oh my gosh kitty i'm actually considering organizing these all into one drawer now that it's getting slimmed down because opening and closing those drawers is a bit of a nightmare let's see what it is what is it? Well, crab tree smooth and refined body lotion. Crab tree and Eve Eve Evelyn. Evelyn. I've not heard of this brand. Smells very manly. Love that smell. Best smell in the world, in my opinion. Yeah, I think it's going to have to stay there now because I did have it like sitting more angled, but it's getting a tad bit crowned. And Jennifer has taken me off exercise for the week, so. I won't be using the peloton. Mostly because of my feet. We just want to get them to like where they need to be, where they should be so that then we can move on to other things and not deal with them anymore. Oh, there's something in here. What is it, what is it? What is it, what is it? It is, oh my gosh, it's stuck. Come on. Ooh. Oh, it's got peanuts stuck to it. Candy cane bubble bar. I actually already have one of these. And it smells so good. I just love it. Love the way that smells. Love a bubble bar. Love a bubble bath. I'm actually enjoying the Lush calendar more than I thought I would because I was like, oh, like you don't open the doors and it's only 12 days. But I'm actually quite enjoying it. I feel like this year, these two calendars were good. I was supposed to have a lint one that I ordered in the end of October never showed up. So Amazon just ended up refunding that. But yeah, I am quite happy with these two.